Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Uh, so you want to smoke some meat, but you don't have a smoker. I'm going to show you how to do it on a gas grill with no extra special equipment needed. Stick around. Now don't let all the snow on the ground fool you. It's actually a beautiful winter day here in Ohio. It's about 55 degrees. Uh, I'm having a hard time seeing because of the sun reflecting off all the patches of snow that are left in my yard, but bear with me here. I might be a little squinty, but I'll get through it. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to smoke uh, meat on just a regular old gas grill. I've got my Weber Genesis right here. I've been um, smoking meat for a long time, but the first couple of years that I did it, I all I had was an old stainless steel charbroil grill. I think I got it as a housewarming gift maybe 15, 20 years ago. And I used that for the longest time and it put out some pretty good um, smoked meat. So I'm gonna show you the foolproof way to do it with no extra special equipment needed. All you need is a grill and some tin foil, some wood chips, and you're ready to go. There are some little gadgets and gizmos you can buy for your gas grill to help it turn into a smoker. There's these boxes that have the holes in it. Um, and you can fill it with wood chips and put it on top of the burner. Those are pretty good. They've got the tubes that you can put pellets in that you would use in a pellet grill. Uh, those work well too. Um, but the thing I don't like about all those is I think they let a little bit too much air in. And a lot of times your wood chips go from like smoldering to actually being on fire. And that's not what we want. We want smoldering wood chips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about a half bag of wood chips. I just bought these hickory wood chips from uh, from Home Depot, and I'm, I'm soaking about a half bag in a bowl of water for about an hour. Uh, then I'm gonna wrap it in a double layer of uh, tin foil, and I'm gonna be sure to press down on it really tight and get as much of the air out as I can. Having um, not that much air in there helps it smolder, and that's really what you want it to do. You want it to smoke and smolder. You don't want it to burn. Um, I cut a couple little slits in there, depending on how long your pack it is. Depends on how much. I'm going to be smoking chicken wings with this today, so I actually probably don't need this many wood chips. It's a little bit of overkill, but um, I'm going to use it anyway just because that's what I have. So what I'm going to do, I'm on my grill here, I've got four different burners, and I've got two all the way down here on the end. Um, and I'm going to use one of them to start and see if I can get the wood chips heated up and get them to start smoldering. So before you put any meat on this barbecue, you do want to make sure that there's wisps of smoke coming out of it. So I'm going to let this heat up and let the packet start burning for a while before I do anything with the meat. Um, and then I'll adjust my temperatures to kind of get it, you know, dialed in a bit. Um, I have a thermometer also that I'm going to put on here. It's, uh, it's my Smartro. I'm going to put a, a probe in the near the burner and a probe on the other side and just kind of monitor how warm the uh, grill is staying. I'm aiming for about 225 to 250 on this. Um, it'll keep it smoking nicely and I, I don't have to worry too much about um, anything burning, catching on fire. There's really not much more to it than that. You, you control the gas, you know, to keep the temperature where you want it to be. Um, you keep replenishing the packets of wood chips when they burn out. If you're doing something really like a long smoke, like a brisket or something, you're gonna burn through a lot of propane. Um, but for shorter ones, like ribs and chickens and things like that, it's actually really convenient. You might have to switch out the packet a couple times, but besides that, it's really easy to do and you get nice uh, results. Uh, I'm gonna also make a separate video about making the uh, wings that I'm doing here. Um, make sure you click to that. I'll put a link down at the bottom and maybe at the end of the video as well. As always, make sure you press that subscribe button down below. Hit the little bell next to it. That way you'll get notifications when I make new videos. Uh, make sure you follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram, at Dave's Ohio Barbecue. And uh, check back often. I've got a lot of things I'm working on right now. I should have some videos coming out real soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.